students in this video we are going to discuss tally whole subject video okay so in unit number one what are the topic we are having students what do you mean by company in tally explain the steps to create a company in using tally erp9 this type of question you will get in part b okay how you should write the answer in tally company means accounting entities like limited company partnership company trade company sole proprietor company joint hindu company this type of different types of companies will be have which maintains their records in business transactions by using the features of tally okay they are maintaining their accounts by using the tally is known as meaning of the company how what are the steps are there to create a company in tally erp9 okay so step number one double click on tally icon from desktop Sec step two select work in education mode if you select work in education mode this screen will be visible this screen is very much important and you should draw this screen masters transactions utilities reports four types you will have students so masters whatever the masters you are having this is unit number one sorry so in masters accounting info is unit number one inventory info is unit number two accounting voucher is unit number three inventory vouchers is unit number four reports is unit number five like this type of things you will learn so this is the screen after drawing the screen what is the step number four plus uh, press alt plus f3 then we need to create a company then the screen will be displayed like this we should select create company if we select create company we will get a option like this and we will let the screen will be like this directory name of the company mailing address of the company state pin code telephone number email id the basic details which is there that i have written here this is a screen okay this is a screen students so step number eight after filling all the details we should click control plus a to save that thing we should click on control plus a so this is the question the next important question is explain how would you create alter delete ledgers in tally how to create a ledger in tally go to tally double click on education mode main menu screen will be there then we should create a company after creating company we should select a company info from main menu if we select company info the screen will be displayed like this groups ledgers cost centers currencies voucher types we need to select ledgers if we select ledger this screen will be displayed single ledger multiple ledger in single ledger create alter display multiple ledger create display alter everything we will have okay so this is about the ledger creation how to create a what is the path from main menu accounting info ledger multiple create if you want to create it in single means same main menu accounting info ledger alter same how to delete main menu accounting info ledger alter alt plus d we need to click it on okay the fourth question is characteristics of tally erp9 what are the features of uh, tally erp9 means it is a company solution many of the business uh, persons business organization will use this tally erp9 to maintain their accounts for the business requirements okay and versatility versatility means from small grocery store uh, owner also he can use uh, tally erp okay versatile means large scale organization small scale organizations both can use this tally erp now this is called versatility this is the second characteristic okay the third characteristic is leading accounting package leading accounting package means in 1988 before 1988 many of your people were not used to this tally but after that more than 90 percent of the business organizations using this tally then the next one is cost control means expenses which is coming will be reduced by using tally rp9 and next simplicity simplicity means 
a person with minimum knowledge will understand this tally there is no need to learn any programs or you no know, need to learn any, any python like that okay it is a simple thing and a speed speed is also another feature where it can calculate where it can record easily and speedily compared to the human beings okay and the next one is flexibility what is my flexibility tally is one of the most flexible software for the users users can adapt to any business requirements okay and the eighth one is tally net tally net you are having and the ninth one is power okay power fast growth and data security your security your data will be secured in in that rather than the manual accounting free web chat and email support email chat so total 12 points i have given students in this and prepare any 8 points it will be enough okay you have wish 8 points and the short questions is what is mean by computerized accounting what is mean by computer accounting it is a system used by business for recording their information financial information it is known as computerized accounting as it is named as a computerized accounting it means that we are accounting the all the stuff in computer based okay so this is the first question important question so second question is f level company feature f level is known as a company feature after the creation of company we need to enable the feature like accounting features inventory features statutory features this screen will be there okay this is the short question short marks questions and third important question is f12 configuration this is also an important question p2p procure to pay that is also an important question what is group in tallies and is important question for short and what are the mouse inventions double click click choose select press these are all mouse inventions and what is in by keyboard in conventions alt plus f1 f2 f3 f4 like this okay so this is a short question and the nine eighth question is deletion of groups uh, deletion of groups and what is mean by ledger so these are all nine questions which i have written for short so you can if you want to learn means you can learn okay so now we will discuss about the unit number 2 students in unit number 2 what is the thing steps to create a stock groups in tally how we need to create stock groups double click on tally icon expression here to see double click on tally erp9 select the company info after selecting company info from gateway of tally you will get a screen like this this is the screen okay students so just i'm scrolling down here i will not discuss that much if you read this answer means you can easily get to know i will upload this pdf in telegram group so please try to check out there okay creation of multiple stock group means open tally erp9 click on select company company inventory info stock groups create under multiple so the screen will be like this okay this is the an answer and the third question is how to steps create alter delete stock groups how to create uh, alter delete stock groups from main menu inventory info stock group single create okay, to gateway of tally main menu inventory info stock groups singular display like this okay so like the same answer will only repeated students so once if you read means you will easily get understand okay again i am saying you will easily get understand okay next uh, define stock item how to create stock item in tally erp9 stock items means what are the mean by stock items kernel rice basmati rice sona masuri rice these are all rice where which will get in stock item rice item you will get okay rice is a stock item in that different types of rice is there kernel rice is there sona masuri rice is there this type of rice okay this is called stock items so this is the thing you need to write the answers like it next uh, stock categories how we need to category stock category means example mobiles with android non android washing machine with automatic and semi automatic this type of things okay so that is called stock categories in that also single multiple will be there same process okay just meaning is different and the next one is how to create go downs in tally to create a go downs in tally we need to activate the thing after activating in go downs we need to create single multiple both the ways okay 
so from gateway of tally inventory info go down single and create okay students so this screen will be displayed like this like this only you need to write the answers next uh, unit number 3 what I have said differences between debit note and credit note. What are the differences we are having? Meaning debit note means when a seller account is debited in buyer's book. When credit note is given to the buyer's account. Right. So use means blue ink, red ink. Okay. Blue ink, red ink. It presents positive amount. It presents negative amount because we are purchasing. That's why it is a credit note. Amount is going. That is why it is a negative amount next purchase return sales return minimization in account receivables minimization in accounts payables credit note debit note shortcut key is control plus f9 for debit note control plus f8 for credit note so this is the differences like this you need to write the differences minimum nine differences you need to write it okay the next question is what is a purchase voucher explain types uh, transaction to record purchase voucher this is also an important question and the most important question is what is a voucher explain different types of vouchers what are the different types of vouchers we are having what is mean by voucher means it is a documentary proof of entering any records of the books of accounts in source document okay so whatever we are entering in the accounts that is called a uh, voucher first one is receipt voucher when receipt voucher is given under this all cash receipts of business are recorded purchase voucher purchase voucher means all cash payments sales voucher means whenever the sale is happening in the business we will use the sale voucher that is f8 alt plus f8 purchase voucher is alt plus f9 like this type of things you need to write it okay so next to sales return you are having purchase return general proper uh, general voucher contra voucher also you are having these are the three important questions from unit number three so if you want to learn these questions also you can learn more but no need and the unit number four types of bill wise details types of bill wise details how many types you are having Four types we are having new reference, against reference, advance card and on account. New reference means whenever a new customer is trans is uh, taking or is purchasing a goods from our organization, where we will receive, where we will adjust that in new reference. Against reference means previous transaction already happened in the business is where we will enter that transactions against reference advanced reference means advanced method is selected when we receive or pay money in advance when we receive or pay money in advance we, where we use that advance receipt okay the last one is on account on account if any amount is received from party if two or three bills were pending there is no clarity if the for bill if there is a no clarity where they will put on account this is an important thing and the next one is activation of bill wise details this is also you should learn this is all about the fourth unit if you want to learn this means you can learn more okay and the last one is fifth unit mis advantages and disadvantages what is mean by mis management information system where it is consisting of three words okay management means art and as well as science uh, information is uh, is the processed form of data and the system is integration of various components okay what are the advantages we are having mis is a decision support system with the help of mos the quality decisions can be a uh, possible okay and the main objective of mis is to control the operation of the uh, company so these are all the advantages what are the limitations of disadvantages of mis means if mis is not defined properly designed properly then it is not useful for management if the basis data provides mis is absolute and outdated then mis is no use these are all the limitations of mis this is an important question and also mis reports mis reports is also an important question from unit number five 
what are the reports you are having accounting reports inventory reports management control reports and financial reports these four reports you are having this is the thing you need to attempt in fifth unit and the last question is different types of accounting reports okay what are the different types of accounting reports we are having balance sheet profit and loss cash flow statement ratio analysis these are all different types of record uh, different types of what is the answer what is the question different types of accounting reports okay and uh, uh, trading and profit and loss account if you want to learn this question means you can learn more okay and the last one is accounts receivable management and its importance this is important which will be from fourth unit just i have written here if you want to learn this question you can or else you may leave for it choice okay so this is the pdf students this pdf i will upload in telegram as well as uh, uh, in telegram group only so try to check out that so this is all about the video if you like this video then like share and subscribe to our channel and share with all your friends and groups this video will be useful for them also see you all in next video bye bye